All right, guys. Um, this camera or this phone actually has 13 minutes, and this is the newer one. It's actually older than that one that I got at the yard sale, and it's actually like so much like thicker because my other one is like super skinny. But I like this one for like the selfie stuff. So yeah. But what I was going to say is, I don't know if some of you would know, but. Um, back in July, me and Chantea got back together. We're, we were kind of like an on and off relationship. And I got her, uh, well, actually you do if you watch that one. My coloring live stream. And I got her this. Don't know if you can see it. I don't remember if I showed it on the, but it's dark. And here, one second. Okay, this will have to do. But it's a stitch sign that... When I went to the fair, I had it actually specially made for her, Shantaya. Um, and I had it, like, I ha yeah, I had it specially made for her. And I spent a lot of money on that. And then when, you know, it came to be her birthday, we had to go camping. Because it's a family campout thing that we do, you know, every year. But it's not, like, at the same time every year. Because, like, I went to her party last year, but I couldn't this year because of that. It's a really important family thing that we do. And I just couldn't go to her party because of that. And she just got really mad at me and broke up with me that night. And then, but what I'm going to say next, I don't know when this happened. But she broke up with me that night. And then today I found out, September 10th. So she breaks up with me on her birthday, August 6th when she turns 15, and, um, I just find out today, you know, September 10th, that, I guess, um, because what happened, I don't even know if they should really go on YouTube, but some, let's just say something really, really bad happened to her, and, um, the police took her away from her parents, and she's actually an adopted, a foster care home, whatever, so she's basically... You know, when a family can't, you know, can't have their kid, you know, which, you know, that was her mistake that she broke up with me because if, if she didn't break up with me and, you know, the police took her away, she could have actually lived with me. She could have actually, but that was her fault and she... I've been talking to some people, and it sounds like that she don't have her phone, her vape, or nothing. Because after she blocked me, I was afraid that she was going to, like, post, you know, and lie and stuff, like, like on Facebook and make bad, make up bad stuff about me. Like, make it up, but actually, no. That's why I didn't block her. But I don't know if she'll ever get a phone, because I feel really bad. But I really don't think that anyone's going to adopt her. I feel really bad, but, you know, I love her, but I can't, I can't be with her, but yet I still have a soft heart for her. That's why I want to, what I'm going to say next is, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm mad at her, obviously, because what she did, but yet deep down, I, you know, you still love a person, you know, <clears throat> So, uh, I honestly don't really see anyone adopting her because the way that she is and people like that, well, not everyone, but most people would probably go for, you know, the younger kids. And, you know, I'm mad at her and she's been super mean to me, but yeah, I have a heart. I have a heart for everybody and, you know, I feel bad for her. And if she wouldn't have broke up with me, none of this would have happened. Because she could have lived with me, and she could have went, you know, to school with me, and everything, you know. And I think that would have been perfectly fine for her. Because I know deep down she still loves me, and even though that she's mad, I know deep down in that girl's heart, she still loves me. And I just really hope that she still thinks about me. Because she doesn't know it, but what I'm about to say is I, I'd really like to do it. Well, she, well, right before that, she started living with dad again because she couldn't possibly technically live with her mom. So I, I don't know. 
I don't know if I so I'm guessing her dad put her in the adoption center or whatever it's called. Basically donate your kid like a goodwill. But what but what I'd love to do is talk to him and I'd love to get everything that she owned other than them, you know, say they'm throwing it away. I mean, I'm talking her phone, her clothes, her stuffed animals. She has a really special shirt of mine that I gave her for her birthday last year, and I kind of want it back. I would love her stuff, you know, even if I would never see her again. And, you know, you know, if, imagine if that happened to me. I mean, like I said in my last video. My TVs, my bus collection, you know, everything I own is super important to me. M you know, my van collection, everything I own is, you know, I worked up and I'm so proud to have everything that I do have. And, you know, I love this stuff and, you know, imagine if that was me. All this would go in a dumpster. And I couldn't, I couldn't see it go in a dumpster. That's why I want to do that for her. If it's not already too late. But if it is, that's okay. But I would prefer me to have her stuff. At least I don't have to worry about her slamming me anymore. <laughs> that's why I didn't block her on anything. But yes, I don't think I'll be able to do it, but give it a try, I guess. That shows her that, you know, I care, even though that I am still very mad at her. But yet, like that, sounds pretty bad. Because she's already had a really, really hard life. You know, I mean, what happened to her? That's why she's there. Because her parents couldn't legally have her. That what happened to this, what happened to her really messed her up. Which is very, 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 very sick. Which I don't even think I should say this on YouTube. And I don't care if my, because my channel's not that big. Oh, and I also have 91 subscribers. So, yeah. And like that, like that thing that I colored for her. And then that stitch poster. I was never, I was never able to give that to her. And if I did, it'd just be gone. I, you know, I spent, you know, 17 bucks on that thing. And, you know, that's why I want her stuff. Because, you know, she's my ex. It's the past. But look at my memory shelf, dude. I still have all the stuff that she gave me. That's what I mean. I would wear her shirts. You know, I'd sleep with her stuffed animals. I would love everything that she has. She always, she had a lot of them kitty ears too. You know, it's just like a head, like a headband or not, not like, not like this kind. Not like this kind that I like, the Nike ones. Not those, but like headbands like that girls wear that goes like, like this. Like this around. She had a bunch of them and they're like kitty ears. And I, you know, she had a whole collection of those. I love those. And you know, just the clothes that she had. I mean, everything that she owned. I throw the vapes away, but, but still. I'm mad at her, but yet, you know, deep down inside, I have a soft heart and I, I, I really love her. Even though that, you know, I'm still angry and upset at her, but yet. This takes the cake for going way too far. I mean, she'll never be able to see me again. She'll never be able to talk to her friends. She don't even have a phone. She's probably going crazy. She can't do her vape or drink or nothing. Dude, she's probably going crazy. But that tell, I mean, that right there, I mean, you know, if I do be able to talk to her, you know, and if I do get this, you know, I just, I just want her to know that I care. Because I do. Even though that I don't ever want to be with her again. I just, I'd love to have her stuff. That's why, I, and also that's why I wanted to do it with this phone. Because obviously this is a big video. So I want to try to get her stuff. And I probably won't be able to. But at least I'll try. I'll try. If my parents would even let me. Or if I can even get a hold of her parents. Unless they've thrown it all away. Which, I don't really think they would, but I'd even offer them money for it, because I'd be afraid of what they would do to it. I can see, you know, 
yeah. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching.